Law Warrior Online. MCY-99, Mercury. Overview. Many historians credited the Mercury with the inspiration of the modern-day Omnimech now in use by both the clans and the Inner Sphere. These beloved battle mechs disappeared during the Vicious Succession Wars. Mercury's finally reappeared during the unveiling of the Comgards in the mid-31st century. Though containing little advanced technology, it was the method of use of the older technology that had historians heaping praise on the light battle mech. Capabilities Using the most innovative technology at the time, the Mercury seemed poised to revolutionise battle mechs using its pioneering plug-and-fight technology, which streamlined repair and slashed many man-hours from repair and modification work. Workers only needed to take off a few bolts and pull a few wiring connectors to remove damaged equipment, and reverse the process to put in new gear. This cut down bay time to a fraction of what most other designs required. Taking advantage of the mask-enhanced speed, the Mercury can enter and leave a firefight at the astonishing rate of 172 km per hour. When in combat, the Mercury relies on an impressive firepower for its size. A pair of medium lasers backed up by a pair of small lasers outgunned many other light mechs, especially those with similar speed. This machine also had the side benefit of being an excellent scout, leading the Comguards to use the scout configuration for reconnaissance duty. Deployment Once the standard reconnaissance light battle mech of Comstar, attrition whittled it away from the ranks until then Presenter Marshal Focht retooled three of the mothballed production lines on Terra to produce both models 99 and 97 at the onset of the clan invasion. Subsequently, one of these lines was reconfigured to produce the more recent Nexus in 3054, and when the Word of Blake took over, they converted another line to produce the Nexus and began to replace the older design. However, so many Mercuries are in circulation and are easy to repair, no one believes this design will disappear any time soon. Variants When Comstar unveiled its Comguards, they had reconfigured their Mercuries to take over scouting for their battle mech forces. They removed a medium and a small laser to mount Star League-era Beagle active probes. This Model 97 was largely discarded after the battle for Tukiad, as it was too light on firepower, even for a scout. In its massive rearmament campaign, Blakists upgraded the Mercury line to take advantage of recent advances in technology. Now built around an endo-steel chassis, the Model 102 Mercury carries a medium and small laser, both extended range. Replacing the Beagle probe with a C3I suite, the 102 can also assist in targeting for its comrades. However, in the last two years, intelligence teams suspect that the remaining Mercury line on Terra has been reconfigured to produce the recently spotted Model 104. Similar to the 102 version produced in the last decade, this one seems to carry an additional extended range medium laser and more armour. Targeting acquisition gear seems to be installed as well, due to the suspiciously high amounts of accurate artillery and orbital support that occurs while the Mercury is present. Analysis shows that the only way such a configuration is possible without losing the Blakers' preference for C3I equipment is mounting an extra light fusion engine, a modification near impossible to perform in the field. Notable Mech Warriors Adept Julie Spartan One of the members of the Heart of Blake mercenary unit, Adept Spartan has piloted her Model 102 Mercury with great skill, foiling jihadist ambushes attempting to reclaim the unit. However, this has almost led to her death on several occasions, and forced her to take advantage of her battle mech's ease of repair. Spartan and her techs often revert to succession war habits of scouring battlefields for suitable salvage to replace damaged components. Presenta Terence Harris One of the few Manai Domini that House Intelligent Agents have been able to put a name to, Presenta Harris is an Omega class on Tharkad. Often alone in his Model 104 nicknamed Insane God, Harris acts as an easy target for Lyran defenders to draw them out of hiding. As they attempt to corner him, he calls in a small surgical orbital bombardment from the LCS Invincible to annihilate the gathered enemies as he engages his mask system to outrun the kill zone. Archon Peter Steiner has put on a 20 million krona reward for the head of Presenter Harris, but it is becoming apparent that not too many are willing to risk their lives for this bounty.